crown in it. So I'm going to have to jig this. I've already had it in a jig for two days or so, but it's still got a really bad, bad crown to it. And the headstock is tweaked a little bit. So I'm going to have to rejig this and get this down to where it belongs. So, okay, I moved the camera so you can see this here. This is what that crown looks like. If you just take a simple straight edge like this, which we know this is straight, this is a manufactured metal ruler, and this is what you have here. You know, you're looking at three-eighths of an inch or better. You can hear it on the frets. And that crown is mainly from here to right in here. And that'll have to be rejigged until I can get it flat. Once it's flat, I'll have to level the frets and then adjust the truss rod to put a little concave into it to make sure that the strings ride in the correct area. I probably will also end up replacing this nut, making a bone one. It looks to me like they've got the notches too low on the bottom E here and it's just not a nice smooth round radius following this fretboard is high on this end and low on this one where it's almost been angled flat like that so once we get to finish the staining here and I get this down jigged flat we'll continue on with the project okay we're back in the first position here and let me just show you the extremely complicated press that I use to straighten out the neck this is it right here nice piece of tight grained true oak which means that it's straight and there's no problems no issues with it as far as, as twisting or tweaking so when we set this on here it'll be nice and square now always protect your instrument so get yourself some nice microfiber towels whatever you want something that's good enough that you can thicken up at the end here so you don't put any dings or dents in it Obviously you need to just protect the ends, you don't need to protect the middle of the neck because that's what you're going to clamp. When you're bringing this neck down to flat, don't try to take it all at one time. You'll end up cracking your neck, having other problems. You take it a little at a time over a period of about three or four days. So I have already pressed this neck for two days. And it's just not where I want to get it to yet. I've showed you it's about a 3 8 bow in it yet, and the headstock is tweaked. So I'm going to simply set it on here, just like that, make sure you're on the end. You need a couple of long clamps. Those will sit. And a couple extras just in case we need them. If you don't want to clamp on the headstock, you definitely want to just clamp in the middle of the neck to get this area down. You're not going to hurt the fretboard as long as you have some nice rubber pads on the end of your clamps. Do not put metal clamps directly onto your wood. You're going to cause yourself problems and you'll be sanding it out later. Let's just go ahead and get this clamped up. said the thing to remember here is time is your friend. This does not need to be done in one day. So we're going to check it with a straight edge again. The crown seems to be concentrated from here to here. A little bit in here but mostly from here to here is where that crown exists probably where the truss rod bends in the middle. I also might want to add, before 
you start to do this, make sure your truss rod is in a neutral position or where it's down. If you have it tweaked all the way up from trying to adjust it and you do this to press the neck, you won't have no adjustment when you try to bring it back or making adjustments for the weather as you keep it open, you know, once it's completed. So, let's get the rest of this clamped up. Make sure you're close enough to this end of it where your clamp sits in the middle of the neck, not on the edge of the fretboard because you're going to end up twisting it. So we want to move this to where it's there. The headstock is flat on the end here so that it will take care of the tweak that's in the head. If you can, try to bridge a couple of these frets on top. It doesn't, it's not particularly necessary, but it's kind of nicer instead of having it half down, half up. that crown in here yet. Add a third clamp. Get a little rock right in here yet. Remember, time is your friend here. Do not try to take this all at one time. You may not see the cracks or whatever occurs to the neck, but you're going to have some issues if you have a bad crown on this and you try to take it all at one time. So we'll see you when this comes out of the jig. Okay, I've just done jigged this after three days. And now you can see, even with a simple press like that, you can get that neck nice and straight. Fretboard still will have to be leveled once you get this pressed down flat, but you can see how nice and straight that comes out with just a couple of clamps and some time and patience. That's what you'll end up with, and that's crucial to have this flat fretboard flat so that when you get your instrument completed, you won't have any problems with fret buzz and things of that nature.